Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Tonight we're going to start a very popular story. We're going to start the story of Samson. He is one of the biggest disappointments in the entire Bible to me. Like he has the he has the traditional strong man strength. Like I said last time, he can rip open the city gates with his bare hands. He can kill a thousand guys with his bare hands. I think, yeah, in this chapter he kills a lion with his bare hands, and he is so completely obsessed with himself that the Lord essentially uses him without his cooperating with the Lord. That was kind of the point that I was going to push tonight. So Judges chapter 14, starting at verse 1. Now Samson went down to Timnah and saw in Timnah of the, of the daughters of the Philistines. So he went up and told his father and mother, saying, I have seen a woman in Timnah of the daughters of the Philistines. Now therefore get her for me as a wife. And his father and mother said to him, Is there no woman among the daughters of your brethren, or among all my people, that you must go and get a wife from the uncircumcised Philistines? <clears throat> and Samson said to his father, Get her for me, for she pleases me well. But his father and mother did not know that it was of the Lord, that he was seeking an occasion, he, the Lord, seeking an occasion to move against the Philistines. For at that time the Philistines had dominion over Israel. And we tend to see this time and time and time and time again in Samson's life. Particularly, I think we can probably all see it in our own lives if we looked at them carefully enough, where Samson's called of the Lord to judge Israel. He's called of the Lord to do great things. He, is, he has the spirit of the Lord's anointing on him. And this anointing takes the form of giant masculine muscles, which I obviously do not have any of. And... He wastes it all by living for himself. But since he is called of the Lord to be a judge, and the Spirit of the Lord is on him, the Lord still uses him. In the middle of him going after women, he had no business going after, the Lord still used him to start to deliver Israel out of the hands of the Philistines. And he just, the Lord manipulated circumstances and even manipulated Samson's own desires. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies are a little bit bad right now. In a way that Israel would start to be delivered by Samson. So it's just a darn shame that Samson couldn't be cooperating with the Lord and actively seeking the Lord. And as it turns out, it's a darn bad thing that he didn't actively pursue a godly woman to be, to be his wife. Because women ended up being his downfall from the beginning of his story to the end. And the Lord used them anyway despite himself and what I don't want of, my, of me, of myself, and what I hope you, what I don't want for you guys, what I hope you guys don't want for yourselves, I don't want the Lord to use me or y'all despite ourselves. I want to actively cooperate with the Lord and what he's doing in my life. I don't want to just haphazardly do his will because I'm called of him, because I have his anointing, because the Spirit of God is on me, and oops, I just stumbled into God's plan, oopsie poops, he didn't mean to do something right. That's what I don't want to happen. So, yeah, Samson's a good example of what not to do, of how not to live your life. We're going to dig into that more in the days to come, my freaks. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you guys, and God bless.